something. He was about three or four. He came up, shook my hand. He's, you know, I'm Xavier Perez. Nice to meet you. I'm going to win the Masters one day. Just to watch him grow as a golfer, it's unbelievable. I approach the game in more of a strategic method, more like chess. Even when I'm playing with kids, you know, twice my size, I never back down. I hold my own and never get nervous. When you got a 15-footer putt, you're in a playoff, and the kid's twice your size, and you drain the putt. It's the best feeling in the world. At three, he was already in tournaments playing in the five-day yellow division and winning. He got so many trophies now. We don't want no more trophies because we don't have no more cases to put him in. Every day, I thank God that he's in our life. He just keeps us young. He keeps us going. God gave me a second chance and say, okay, whatever you didn't do and you think you could have done better with your daughter, now is your opportunity to do it and here's seven. My name is Xavier Zevi Perez Martinez. I'm 11 years old. I go by Zevi. It comes from one of the first Spanish golfers, Zevi Ballesteros. He was a very, very great golfer. He didn't come from a lot of money, but it pushed him and motivated him. And they made a documentary about him. I watched the documentary hundreds of times. Everything was like Zevi Ballesteros. Like Sevi Ballesteros. Look, I can hit this shot like Sevi Ballesteros. So we started calling him, yeah, Sevi, and we've been calling that ever since. Stuck and... like glue ever since. That's a draw. My own pre-shot routine, mainly what I do is I get behind the ball, probably about six feet. And I just play the shot in my head and play out every part I can. If I hit a draw, the circumstances of me hitting it bad are pretty high. If I hit a fade, now that's gonna be straight down the middle. After that, I'm right hand dominant. I set up, I lock my knees before, you know, I'm not even about to swing. I break them a bit. After that, I grip it. I probably re-grip about two, two or three times just to ensure I got good grip. I take one look and let it rip. Pretty much easy as one, two, three. So I got my sandwich. I'm gonna have to fly it up, probably about bounce it. Green's being pretty fast. Probably gonna have to bounce it about probably right around this spot and just let it roll in straight to the hole. This is about one, two, three, four. So it's approximately four feet long. So probably on this putt, I'm probably gonna have to hit it below inside cup. And bam, put it in, no stress. Golf is playing the foulest weather. You know, if it's raining and it's pouring, you gotta play through that. That's gonna affect the ground. Another enemy of the golf course is water by far. So if you hit in the water, stroke penalty. When it comes to sand shots, when you got like a little 30 yard shot, if you hit it too soft and you catch the ground at the wrong time, you could just be duffing out only 10 feet. You'll skull it straight over the green. Another hard part is course conditions. Wind's blowing 15 miles per hour. It's going left, right, left, right, right, left. The wind's gonna take the ball straight off to the side. All right, you ready to get this party started? Yes, All right, let's start with some squats here. Good. We are K2 Stretch, located in Evans, Georgia. That's about five to 10 minutes right outside of the beautiful Augusta, Georgia. He's loading and deloading through a golf swing on individual parts of, the, of, the, of his legs. So the back swing obviously is from the right leg going through to the left leg. So we want to have both of them to be e evenly and equally supported. Good. And then we add rotation for his core strength and balance as well as overall stability. We're gonna do some general stretching. He's gonna work on breathing as we stretch. So we're just gonna start with some basic stuff just to see where his mobility is at. So we just work on make sure the hips are moving properly, and make sure he gets the maximum amount of his swings. When he was four or five years old, we used to hit balls from that corner of the fence and we used to put them in an empty lot right here. One day, my neighbor came with a big box of balls and he said, here, I got these balls for you. And I'm like, geez, thank you, you didn't have to do that. He said, these are all the balls that landed in my swimming pool. <laughs> I do care more about my driving because I got to be accurate. But at the same time, you know, you got to sharpen your short game too. So I'll demonstrate one and show you how I'm doing. Oh, a little too powerful there. Um, now he's rolling. That's that's what the goal is, to get him to where he can look at a spot in the ground and hit the ball in. At two years old, all he wanted to do was play golf. We'll take him in the golf cart and he'll play three holes. He'll get sleepy, take a nap, and then wake up 
and finish up the rest of the holes that he had left. At three, he demanded to play in a tournament. The first tournament he played, he won, and he won 39 matches straight. He goes out now and play with grown men. This is my training room. You can see here I got a whole simulation room. It runs through um, sky tracks, like in hit balls every day, every night, rain or shine. My friend, Mr. Steve here, built it probably when I was about eight, eight to nine years old. When I first saw a swing, I was like, wow. At, at that age, his hand-eye coordination is something you've never seen before. 145 carry, right out of the money. Remember, carry distance is the key, not total. He got it. It's our miracle baby. <laughs> I served in the, in the Army as an Army Ranger for many, many, many years. I retired with 33 years of active military service. I was always gone. Christine raised three girls basically on home. I always felt very bad about that. I think we were in, in was it Kansas, Fort Leavenworth? We were there for an Army training. I was pregnant and we didn't expect that. But um, then they said, um, good news and bad news. You are pregnant. And the bad news is you have cancer. Because you have cancer, it's stage two cancer. We gotta go immediately and do surgery to remove the cancer. You're gonna have to terminate the pregnancy. I just said, whatever the challenge was, I wanted to keep the yeah, baby. She, she, I was willing to accept the challenge. I just said, I'm gonna have this baby. This baby saved me. My mom is a saint. She's the world to me. She's the one who keeps me in line and say, hey, Stay humble. She helps me with my school. She helps me with golf. She drives me to all the tournaments. And Papa, before I had my coaches, he was my coach. If I'm, you know, I'm like, dang, I could do better. He's the one who says, hey, it's all right. It's just a game. And I'm just very blessed to have two loving, dedicated parents on my side. My proudest moment would be International Junior Masters. I was playing from 15 to 18 age division. I was the youngest contestant since 1953. I didn't do so hard on the first few days, but on the second day, I was able to make up on my second round. That got me seat at a high flight, and we went into elimination chamber. I'm very proud of my last name, Perez. I am very proud of my heritage, too, you know, Puerto Rican, Hawaiian, Samoan, Filipino. I keep them gone. I got I got a lot of genes, and I'm just you know I'm blessed and proud to have my last my last name, Perez. Xavier Perez, el apellido Perez, es algo que usted va a llevar en alto a su patria de Puerto Rico y siempre va a tener ese orgullo de la familia Perez y de Puerto Rico en tu corazón. <laughs> Thank you, <Andre. laughs>